Once the Anderson family decided to adopt a dog, they fell in love immediately. However, they probably shouldn't have gotten excited so soon because they didn't adopt a typical dog breed. The truth was only revealed to them once they took their new furry friend to the vet, and he shockingly decided to call the police. The new four-legged friend was adopted by Billy and Erica, who had no clue what to do or think when their dog was taken away. Nothing was said to them, and the vet wouldn't explain what was happening. After waiting for 10 minutes with all sorts of thoughts racing through their minds, the vet came back without their dog. They didn't have any time to ask where he was as the vet immediately told them that he had called the police and they would be there any minute. Billy and Erica were shocked. Billy and Erica's son, Tim, was starting to get extremely upset as all he wanted was his brand new dog back. That's when the vet explained his side of the story, and everything made sense. We will need to provide you with a little backstory. The Andersons, Billy, Erica, and little four-year-old Tim had just moved to Vermont and hadn't met many people or knew how to get around. There was a lot of despair among them, but the move wasn't the reason. This sadness had started because of something else. After enough time had passed, the family considered the idea of getting a new dog. There was a lot of skepticism, especially from Erica, who thought it was still too soon for another pet. There were many long conversations between Erica and Billy about whether they were moving too fast into adopting another dog. However, Billy kept trying to make his case that the family was ready. In the end, Erica agreed to bring a new furry friend into the family, but there were other things they needed to consider. The first consideration that needed to be made by the family was what breed they were going to get. After searching far and wide, they were able to narrow down their search to two husky breeders. They went to go and visit the two options, but they were just met with disappointment. From the moment the family met with the first breeder, they immediately felt something wasn't right. Of course, the puppies were cute and fun to play with, but they didn't look like they were living in a comfortable area. The price of the puppies also seemed rather questionable and not what a licensed breeder would charge. It was time for them to go home and see if they could brainstorm any other ideas. However, on the trip back, they drove past an animal shelter. Suddenly, everything started to seem more positive. Everyone, especially Erica, was so happy to see the shelter. They thought they had lost hope, and this seemed like it was fate. Erica begged Billy to stop so they could have a look around. The woman working at the shelter told the couple that there were only five dogs and two of them were puppies. Regardless, they still went to have a look, and they all were taken back by surprise. One of the puppies looked just like a husky. They couldn't believe their eyes. This dog's most fascinating aspect was its eyes. This husky pup had eyes like no other. They were bright blue and stood out the most. He also seemed a little shy and stayed away from the family. It seemed like complete fate. As the shelter's worker told the family the puppy had been left there just the night before, he was still getting used to his surroundings. And since he didn't have a chip or any other identification, they didn't know much about him. The family knew straight away they wanted him, but there were obstacles. The worker at the shelter alerted the family that they don't like to home dogs when they are unsure about their identity. However, since it was a small town and the shelter hadn't seen a new adoption in months, they decided to make an exception. Of course, the family was thrilled, but it could be a decision the shelter comes to regret. Within an hour, all the paperwork had been signed, and they were ready to bring home their new furry friend. Before they knew it, the family would get news that would destroy their world. This was because they had to book the puppy in with a vet so he could have a full health checkup, something the shelter couldn't do. Maybe if they knew what was going to happen, they wouldn't have rushed to make the appointment. After Blue had been asleep for over an hour, the family thought it was time for them to also go to bed. It had been a busy day for all of them, full of excitement and many other emotions. They also wanted to be ready for the vet appointment tomorrow. Erica, Billy, and Tim were all ready to go to bed feeling happy. They had made a new best friend that day, and he seemed like the perfect replacement for their beloved Rio, even though he would always stay in their hearts. Sadly, these feelings were short-lived. In the middle of the night, the family was woken up by a loud noise from downstairs. This startled everyone, and Billy went downstairs to see what was happening. He wanted to ensure Blue was okay. Billy noticed that Blue wasn't in his bed anymore 
so he went to go see where he had moved. That's when he noticed Blue was sitting right next to his computer. This was not a behavior he had noticed in Rio, so he was very confused about this interest. Blue wouldn't move from the computer, and the only way Billy could keep him away from it was by putting him back in his bed and closing the office door. He just wanted to go back to sleep, and luckily, he didn't hear loud noises for the rest of the night. In the morning, Blue wasn't in his bed again, but instead sleeping next to the office door. Billy explained what had happened to his family, and no one knew why he would be so interested in his computer. There was no time for the young family to sit and dwell on the fact they have a puppy obsessed with computers because they had a vet appointment to get to within an hour. As they got ready to leave, they noticed Blue seemed tired. Although the original plan was for the family to leave Tim at home, since they'd be sitting in the waiting room for most of the appointment. Tim didn't want to go anywhere without Blue. They decided to go together, but Billy would soon wish he went alone. Once she got a look at the pup, she called the vet straight away and ensured the next appointment scene was the Anderson family. The Andersons handed Blue to the vet, who quickly looked at the puppy before taking him into his office. Only 10 minutes passed before the vet returned to the family, but he wasn't with Blue. There was no time for Billy or Erica to ask questions, as the vet asked the family to join him in another room so he could explain what was happening. This is when the vet told the family that he had notified the police about Blue and that they were on their way to get them. Both Billy and Erica stood there shocked, and Tim started to act up, crying because he wanted the vet to give his dog back to him. The reason the vet called the police is that there was a report going around about a wealthy tech CEO who had a missing dog that fit Blue's description. He had said he would offer a handsome award to anyone that could find the puppy. The vet wanted to make clear to the Andersons that they weren't in trouble for having Blue, but he wanted to call the police first in case they got scared and decided to run away with the puppy. The CEO and police arrived at the vet within half an hour and sat down to talk with Billy and Erica. He explained that Blue was his, and the only reason he wasn't chipped was that he was still young, and he hadn't had time yet. Since Blue's real owner was a tech CEO, it started to make much more sense why he was so interested in Billy's computer. They determined that he must have recognized it and became entranced since it was a familiar object. There was nothing the Andersons could do. They had to give Blue back to the CEO. Tim was extremely upset since he still thought it was his puppy. Luckily, there was some good news on the horizon. The vet had already told the family that there was a reward for whoever found Blue and gave him back to him. Therefore, the CEO handsomely rewarded them. He also said they could see the puppy, whose real name is North, anytime. Since the family had some money from the CEO, they used it to adopt another husky, which they'd brought home a few weeks later. They ensured they adopted him from a licensed and verified breeder, and they all quickly fell in love with him.